Hey guys, so this is gonna be a little update video of how our fruit trees and plants did with the temperatures we had. We had frost on our car this morning and frost on our roof and on the ground the previous morning. So today is January 31st, 2020 and it's midday now. And so I'm just coming out to kind of see how everything is. Um, we have a curry leaf tree here. It did fine. Um, I found some bananas I forgot to harvest and I will see how those taste after being out. Um, it's really surprising how the porter weed and Biden's alba and some pretty common stuff firebush um, died. That was surprising to me because we haven't had any of those plants die before. Um, this little pineapple guava and it did fine. They're pretty cold hardy. This is Brooks Butterfly Garden and the porter weed died, the salvia died. Um, I assume it'll come back from the ground. Um, all the citrus trees look, well, they look sad because they all have greening probably, but they didn't have any cold damage. And the vegetables, um, all the bok choy, lettuce, all that stuff did well. Um, the tomatoes died, the pepper plants died, and the longevity in Okinawa spinach died. And then these are some little fruit trees I have tucked away. This is um, blackberry jam fruit and it did great. There's zero cold damage on it. And then this is a grafted Olo Sapo and it has curled up, dried up leaves. So I'm hoping that it will still be good above the graft because I'm wanting to taste that fruit. This is our cinnamon apple tree and I don't see any damage on it. It looked like it handled the cold really well as did the finger lime trees. We have a green and red finger lime trees in here that did well. There's a peanut butter fruit tree back there that did well and the Barbados cherry um, has no damage either. And I had some little cilantro. This is confetti cilantro. It did fine. And the succulents, um, I brought some of them in but the rest look like they did well. And we covered up just a few things that were left out. Um, this miracle fruit tree we did cover. I don't know if they can handle cold. I've heard from other people that they can, but we didn't want to lose it. So we covered it up. And the peaches look fine. The plum looks fine. Um, but this is the Namdok Mai Mango. And as you can see, the leaves are very brown so they definitely got cold damage and the flower panicles are drooping so my guess is that none of these will hold fruit this year um craig thinks they might put out a second fruit a second flowering but i'm kind of doubtful on that there are green leaves um, inside the tree so we're definitely not going to lose the tree the Macadamia nut trees did great. They have zero cold damage on them. And tucked in under this tree is the Monstera deliciosa. And this one is totally green, but one we have on the southeast side of the house is black. So it's interesting to come out and see how different areas of the yard did. I think it'll help me in knowing where to plant a, a few cold sensitive trees. The lychee trees all look great. Um, I guess this year we will find out if cold really does help them bloom better or not. And the sapodilla trees didn't seem to have any damage either. This is a little butterscotch tree. It seems fine. And it can take a little while for cold damage to show up. So it's possible in a couple more days that we'll see some more damage but hopefully not. Almost all the avocado trees look great. There's a small warts tree that looks like it had some cold damage. This is the Cogs Hall tree and it is looking pretty bad. Um, all the flower panicles are drooping. The leaves are brown. And we didn't cover any of our mango trees, so everything was on its own. I did cover one one foot tall P22 grafted tree and that was it. 
And then this is the lemon zest. It has a lot more green than some of the other trees do. It did have lots of fruit on them and they're still holding on, but I'm doubtful that they are going to make it. And this is the little Wurtz avocado. So you can just see there's some brown on the leaves. And this is our Pickering. And it was loaded and I mean, you can see some, some of it got damaged really bad, but then inside the leaves are green. And this is the Mysore raspberry, which has no problem with the cold. Ross sapote, um, as the day goes on, it's looking more brown. So I'm hoping that that will be okay because that's a really delicious fruit. Inside the tortoise pen, Craig has a giant bamboo and that did get some cold damage at the tops of it, but there's still a lot of green. And then I have a coconut in there that looks like it did fine and a Malabar chestnut, which got damaged pretty bad. This is the Dwarf Hawaiian. And again, same thing, lots of leaves that look damaged. This one was smaller. I probably should have covered it, but we've never had any damage to our mango trees before. So I was just going off of prior experience and then it wasn't supposed to get colder than we had experienced before. And then this was kind of interesting. Our bananas, some of them that fruited, the flag leaf is really, really green. And then all the other leaves got hit by the cold bad. So I doubt that this fruit will make it. It was just interesting to see that the flag leaf stayed very green. The lemon meringue tree also got pretty bad damage. I guess the cold coming from the east was some of the worst um, cold because it seems anything with eastern exposure got hit pretty bad. But the tree should be fine. On the side near the oak, it's still green over here. This is the Valencia Pride. You can see more cold damage on the leaves. In our dream Anona, these kind of look this way anyway, so I'm surprised um, the leaves are as green as they are. Another lychee tree and then the longan trees um, didn't seem to have any damage, but now I see some cold damage at the very top of the big gym longan. Sorry about the noise, our neighbors are roofing. Um, this is a trumpo canistel and it looks like it did pretty well. Harvest Moon Mango looks 90% good. The Dot Mango, the outer leaves got hit pretty bad by the cold. This is Ross Sapote that died back during Irma and then came, shot out a little branch, died back again. This is the third time. So hopefully, hopefully it will be okay. The ice cream bean trees look um, pretty bad. This is Inga Vera. This got hit much harder than I expected it to. We've never seen any damage on the tree, so this was surprising. It was full of flowers. I don't plan to cut anything back until probably March. I'm just gonna let everything sit, see what it does, and then maybe the first or second week of March. I'll trim some stuff back. This is a F2 canistel. It was honestly looking pretty sad before the weekend. And then this is the one mango that I covered. This is P22 and it looks similar to the others. Hopefully it'll stay alive. Our coconut cream mango had not flowered at all yet which is always super late for us and it looks um, pretty good. There are more green leaves than there are cold damage leaves on the tree. So hopefully that's a good sign for this fruit because this is my favorite and Courtney's favorite um, up there with Sugarloaf. 
This is the big run um, with the ruby grafted onto it. Orange sherbet got hit pretty bad by the cold. And then cactus behind it, which did much better. This is another Inga species and it got hit really bad. Honestly, the things that I watered really well beforehand got hit the worst. I know everybody's like, you should water beforehand, but the trees that I watered definitely had more cold damage than the trees that I didn't water ahead of time, except for the bananas. Those all look like toast. Um, this is an Inga cinnamomia and I did not water this one and it actually looks better than the other Inga trees. So I don't know if that's just species specific cold hardiness, the area it was planted in or the fact that I didn't water it. I have a little grafted Kaimito back here and this is a purple Kaimito and it had no very little cold damage. There's like a few brown spots on a couple leaves, but it looks really good. And the Inga Spectabilis, I did not water this one. It looks bad, but not as bad as the Inga Vera that I did water. And then this is a seedling Kaimito tree that flowered this year and it got hit pretty bad. I think it'll come back and be fine. And then the orchids I left on the trees because they were already mounted did great. Um, this one was flowering. The flowers look absolutely perfect. The plant looks great. The root look, roots look great. I did not water those. I made sure to keep them dry a couple days before the cold. I don't know if that helped or if they're just more cold hardy than I expected them to be. This is the Mangifera odorata and it looks absolutely perfect. There's no cold damage on any of the leaves at all. It does have an Inga Vera on either side of it. And those Inga Veras I did not water and I don't see any damage on those. They look much better than the Inga Vera that I watered. So I don't know if watering like created um, more frost, you know, on the ground or what happened or if it's just coincidence. Then over in the chicken pen, I have some more cold sensitive plants. So I have a guanabana tree. It's right there. That tree still has all of its leaves. Um, at the very top, it looks like some cold damage, but not much. There's an Inga edulis planted right beside it, and that did get hit pretty hard. Um, and then down over there, I don't know if you can see it or not. I have a Kaimito, a green Kaimito that is grafted and that looks like it did pretty well too. I think the oak um, gave a lot of protection and that the Inga edulis trees are just way more cold sensitive, but I also did water these as well. I have a neem tree um, that did great, like zero cold damage. The white sapotes have zero damage. The pineapple pleasure mango has a lot of damage, but hopefully it will be fine. This was the um, that Mexican sunflower that people plant as a chop and drop. That got hit hard. Ugly Betty has some cold damage. Chacanon has lots of cold damage. And the Valkyrie seems to have almost no cold damage at all. And yet the banana that's planted right beside it got hit really hard by the cold. This is a golden pillow seedling jackfruit and it seems okay. And this is the ice cream mango. So this one is flowering really heavy. The panicles are kind of curled down and there is some cold damage on the leaves. My guess is these flowers won't develop fruit. It's still really green inside the tree. And then this is sweet tart. It has 
some cold damage. The dwarf namwa and dwarf red bananas got hit very, very hard. This is fruit punch mango. Just the top seems to be bad. And then cotton candy mango. It's pretty sheltered here under pine trees and it looks pretty good. And this is the red morning jackfruit and it seemed to get hit um, a little bit harder than our other jackfruits did. And this is the sugarloaf mango and it got hit pretty hard. It was really wet in there um, and all the weeds around that died as well. And this is our peach cobbler tree and it's doing pretty good. Maybe like 10% of the leaves got burned on that. And this is a um, southern blush that we have Super Alfonso grafted onto and it looks surprisingly good for a tree that usually looks bad all the time. <laughs> and then I have another little mango tree that got got hit kind of hard and then a little grafted jackfruit that had some damage too. And pina colada held up pretty well to the cold. And these little um, jackfruits look fine. It'll be impressive to see if these end up um, filling out and developing well. This is our Glen. It only had a tiny bit of bloom beforehand and it looks really good. So I expect that we will definitely get fruit off the Glen. And as the day goes on, the jackfruit, some of the leaves are starting to wilt a little more. Hopefully they will all be fine. And then the Maha Chinook had some cold damage, but only about half the tree flowered. So hopefully the other half will flower. And then over in the chicken pen here, I had planted a hog plum and that did not like the cold at all. It's very wilted, but I had a couple Garcinias planted in there and they seem to handle the cold really well along with a monkey jack. There's a mame back there that looks good and an abu. And then the starfruit trees look a little sad, but I think that they're gonna be fine too. A lot of weeds died, which is nice. The noni tree has those black leaves where they look like they, they froze. Hopefully that will come back out too. And this froze back a lot. I think this is called like fire spike or something. The butterflies and hummingbirds really like that. Loquats do great with cold. The mulberries, I had trimmed most of them back. One of them had leafed out and it had fruit on it. Um, it was a Pakistani and all those leaves and fruit died. And this is the Michelle Alba. This one I have out in the open and it got pretty, pretty bad cold damage to the leaves but I have another one under an oak that seemed to have different, uh, no cold damage at all. And this is the Sessie Love Mango. I probably should have covered this one up because it's so special, um, but I think it's gonna come back. I think I'll just set it back a little bit. The tamarind mostly did okay. We have like a sweet tamarind over here and then a regular more tart tamarind in the chicken pen and they both seem to do okay. There's like a couple branches, um, but overall it looks really green. The apple tree probably loved the cold. Brooke grows this for her bunnies to eat the sticks off of. I don't expect to ever get apples. It would be great if we did. We did have two trees because they're supposed to need cross pollination, but one did die like a year ago. And then the bananas back here, I have Patogo, Huamoa, Praying Hands. They all got toasted pretty bad. Um, the Praying Hands had fruit on it. The Patogo was getting ready to put out fruit. So that's a loss. 
And then I probably really did a bad thing a couple weeks ago and pruned back the anona trees. I don't really know what I'm doing with most fruit trees. I just do what I want when I want it. And um, anyway, hopefully they'll all be fine. But I probably should have left them until the end of February, middle of February, probably would have been a lot better. But the leaves that I left on them got hit super, super hard. And I think it's just nice to have that growth on there. And then when it gets hit hard, you can cut it back. I wouldn't prune it back now just in case it ends up getting cold again, but hopefully it won't. I was really surprised how the longevity spinach froze back. I don't know. I thought being under the oak trees, it would do well, but um, that and the Okinawa spinach did very poorly with the cold weather. And I have some Tilo for tea and it got frozen to the ground. I don't know if it'll come back from the roots or not. I brought in some of the other plants I thought might be more cold sensitive. And then this is that patchouli. It got hit pretty hard, but it has green new growth down on the ground. That's fine. This is a giant Sigidium fruit, like a wax jambu relative. The new growth definitely got hit hard. It's, it's pretty bad, but I think the tree will be okay. It's just leaning a lot from the wind. So I need to see if Craig can help me prop that up. This is that other Michelle Alba. It's much more green. I'm guessing just from being near the oak trees. And then we left most of the nursery pots out. I brought the mangoes inside, but I left out the ingas and about half the pot of bananas. And they did surprisingly well. So I think just being under the oak trees was good protection for them. And then over here I have like torch gingers and heliconias and some other gingers and they always look bad this time of year. And this is a kava plant. I brought in my other big one, but I left this one out. Kava always looks terrible in the winter. It's real cold sensitive. Um, but I think this one will come back from the roots, hopefully. And then I have coconuts up front, and when I looked earlier today, they seem to be fine. I think this is all a good reminder that if you're going to have a, a fruit farm, it's nice to have some other sources of income for the farm. So not just like a fruit crop, but also have, selling fruit trees or doing other things to help make some money from the farm. So if you have a hurricane or a freeze or a drought and lose your fruit, it's not, um, not all your income is cut off for that year. I was surprised that the perennial peanut died back so much, but the coconuts, they seem okay. The top leaves are green. So hopefully the coconuts will be okay. The avocados out here look pretty good. And then the plumeria is always dormant this time of year. The melee apple I have over here looks terrible, along with all the bananas. And then the Monstera over here, it's, the leaves are super black. It'd be cool if it grew like this. It really looked like this, but this is just cold damage on the leaves. And they had a lot of fruit on them, so I'm hoping the fruit would still develop. I'm not sure if it will or not, but we will see. And then white sapotes did fine. Bananas up here did really poorly. The saddest part to me in the yard, other than the mango trees, is the Cercropia. Um, Harley from Garden Florida had been looking for one for me. I'd been wanting one and I wasn't gonna go to the Mantee fruit sale last year. And he saw one available there and picked it up for me. And it was doing so great. It was branching out. It was the most beautiful tree in the yard. 
and they got hit so hard. I just didn't realize how cold sensitive they are. There's still some green on it, but I don't know if it will come back from this or not. I'm hoping it will. I'm just gonna leave everything alone, not prune anything back and see if new growth will come out. And then this is the only passion vine that got any cold damage in the yard. It seemed like everything with easterly winds got hit the worst. And Jabota Cava's did great. Um, dragon fruit looks fine. The, we have a Indonesian white seedless guava near the house and the very tips look burned, but the rest of it looks fine. So I'm curious to know like if y'all found out any things that were more cold hardy than you expected them to be. Um, I was surprised that our mame and the guanabana kept all their leaves. Um, the garcinias really surprised me that they did so well. Our ylang ylang tree got hit pretty bad and it's up front. So it's um, kind of in the same area that our mame is in. And the mame did not get hit bad, but the ylang ylang did. And I have hay, um, Geiger tree that got hit pretty bad. But anyway, let me know um, how your things did. Anything that surprised y'all. This is an Inga Volpina. It did great. There's like zero cold damage on that. So I guess that I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.